No, I can never be sure it won't happen again. Because, uh, but I've said to him, I've had a word with him privately, and uh, I said after the game, you know, I've, I've said for many years, I think it's something with, you know, diving. We should have retrospective uh, video for diving. I think that would help referees no end. It's really difficult at times, so it, it doesn't change my views when I was at Everton until I was at Manchester United. Well, we can make up all the things we like about punishment, but the rules are there. The referees have got the rules they have to abide by, and the referee on Saturday done what he had to do. He gave me a yellow card. It's weird. I think if it's going to happen, it's got to happen across the board, the whole, not just in our league. It's got to happen across Europe, across the world, because, it's, for instance, you go in the Champions League and we're being told in the Premier League you're not meant to dive and blah, blah, blah. Then you go in the again, Champions League and you've got players in other countries that simulate. So it, it, it's difficult. And obviously, as a defender, you don't want people to kind of just try and con the referee. Um, but I think if there's contact, then the, in today's game, the player's got the right to kind of appreciate that he's been contacted and, and, and maybe go down and that's what happens nowadays and it's become a part of our game that we're as defenders we're used to that's so you, you've got to defend a little bit more with your, with your head um, and think about how you try and combat the forwards because they're cute um, and they know how to, to do this type of stuff and it is difficult I mean, as the manager said I think it's, for the referees it's such a difficult uh, thing to kind of look at and say yes he died or he didn't or there was contact etc so retrospective um, viewing and, and, and punishments may be the way to go. I think I think all groups are tough. I think the Champions League's become different now. I think where you always could pick out the winning teams in it, I think the last year or two is beginning to prove that much more difficult. You can see by the results of some of the group stages. Uh, it's a little bit more unpredictable than it's been in the past. So I think it's a tough group. We've got you know, a leading team from Germany, a leading team from Spain. We have to go to, to the Nest to play Shakhtar, who are pretty well experienced in the Champions League. So I, I see it as a as a pretty tough looking group. Um, I'm really excited about it, but I've been excited about joining Manchester United. Every game's offered a new challenge, uh, a tough one at that as well. I've been there before with Everton. We played Villarreal. We didn't quite make the group stages, but uh, this is something different. And uh, I'm now managing a club which is used to used to getting close to the, the final stages, and hopefully we'll try and do that again.